and welcome back to Raffle Shadows. Today I will be taking you through fitting your ship. Now I'm going to buy a new cruiser and fit it out for PvE. There are uh, very good websites on the internet that you can find to help you do this and give you fits for decent ships, but these are usually cookie cutter fits and used by quite a few people. Now so I'm going to go with a Mimitar cruiser. I have uh, a certain passion for Mimitar cruisers these days. Um, usually somewhere between anywhere ranging from 5 to 10 mil, depending on what the market's looking like at the moment. Ooh, that's advanced. Get rid of that. Hopefully get rid of that. There we go. So, 9 mil not too expensive. So to see your ship you click the ship hanger, go to your newly purchased ship, don't reprocess it, go to assemble and then make active. And it will come up here and if you're in captain's quarters it will come up in behind you at the end of the gangway click fitting you can see it's got one two three four five six high slots three mids and five lows but it only has four turret hard points and three missile launcher hard points now no matter how many high slots you have you cannot fit more than four guns onto this ship and three missile launchers mid slots are usually for shield tanking and warp scramblers, webs, e-war, stuff like that. Lows are usually for armor tanking and damage mods. Now the Rupture isn't a very tanky ship once you add in damage mods and PvP equipment. But we won't be worrying about that to the PvP equipment today since this is fit for PvE. If we go to the marketplace get r collapse the ships and skills. First thing I want to do is get guns. We go to turrets and bays and since it's Mimitar we will want projectile turrets. Now the two turret types for each of these are usually long range lower DPS but higher hitting power and shorter range with lower hitting power but higher damage per second. Now since this is for PvE I'm going to go with an artillery cannon and since it's a cruiser it will need medium guns. Now here it will tell you that um, the requirements for them. That one there is the skill requirement then the power law load requirement and the CPU load requirement if I go down to the bottom, these are all tech ones and they come in different meta levels. Usually the higher the meta level the better it is, and also the more expensive it is. If I go down to the bottom, I'll go for the 720 howitzers. These are the tech 2 versions which require a lot more training, but you get to use the uh, the higher, more advanced ammo, which uh, benefit you in different ways like higher DPS, a lot higher DPS or or a lot longer range. Now before I buy I should probably check my hard points. I have four so I want four howitzers. I have my market organized from the cheapest to the highest. So if I just put four in the box it changes so it costs me 7.5 mil. I can use my corp account, but they'll probably shout at me if I did that. Then finally click buy. Market will refresh, and your newly purchased guns will go into your item hanger. If I just collapse that. And there they are. Because I live in a wormhole, I get mountains of this stuff. Just ignore that. Now to quickly do it, just right click and then fit to ship. 
and I don't have enough power grid to fit all of these howitzers so I'm probably going to need a another mod for the low slot which will increase my power grid or I could probably put a rig on I think I'll put a rig on so I could get max DPS so if I go to the market collapse turrets and actually open that back up and go to weapon upgrades missile launchers require ballistic control systems to increase their stats projectile turrets require gyro stabilizers lasers require heat sinks and hybrids require magnetic field stabilizers siege modules are for capital ships so don't need to worry about those for now tracking computers affect all turreted weapons and soon to be um, missile weapons as well after the new patch coming out the winter expansion which is called retribution tracking enhancers same thing as tracking computers but these occupy a low slot and these occupy a mid slot tracking links I believe occupy a high slot if I just ch no they are mid slot as well you can tell the two dashes there mean mid slot one dash would mean a low and the three dashes in a triangle mean a high slot so if I go back and gyro stabilizers I always use tech 2 come trained up for them and I will put three on again it's gone into the advanced you can set um, buy orders which will uh, people will sell them and then the buy order sell them to you through a buy order and it basically putting up an advert saying I need so many of these at this price if I just turn it back to simple I need three which will cost me pretty much three mil as you can see this get gets pretty expensive rather quickly and they also go into your item hanger everything you do buy goes into your item hanger same as the turrets right click and fit to active ship now they appear down there I think I'm going to well since it's PVE I'm going to uh, shield tank or attempt to shield tank this um now I need the uh, power grid so if you collapse that and go to engineering uh, now I think I'll go for a react control boost power core output and I'll go for a tech 2 if I can fit it I'm not too sure no I can't fit that one so I'll go for the type D I'm only going to want one of these. And again, right click fit. Now, usually you need to decide what your ship is for, whether it is for PvE or PvP. And if for PvE, you're going to want maximum tank and maximum DPS. You can sometimes sacrifice the tank a bit and the way you tank it is uh, another thing that you have to keep in mind when fitting a ship for PvE as um, different NPCs deal different damage so uh, instead of uh, two invulnerability fields and an EM field which would be an omni tank you can put one invulnerability field uh, say for I think Garistas one invun then two ballistic control ballistic deflection field modules I'll put a link in the description where you can find out what NPCs deal what damage and which to tank and which to deal because they are also tanked to specific resistances so it's always a good idea to fire into their lowest resistance now I've got a half fit ship I'm going to omni tank it just because I can really and I don't know what NPCs I'll be fighting because I haven't thought about it this is why everybody should think about it 
standard shield omni tank is two in vuns and an EM ward field two. I'll record adaptive invulnerability fields now. So I need two of these. And buy. So I got that one quite cheap. Hence the green writing. And same again, just right click fit two. So now it's got an omni tank. I still need to put something in that low slot. I'll figure that one out in a minute. Now for these two high slots, I think I'm going to attack, mm, I don't think I have enough power grid, but I will attempt to try and put two missile launchers on, but I think I'll go for light missile launchers for frigates, because there's no point putting newts on them, because there's just no point in PvE. If I am missing out on something that I should be putting in those two high slots, do leave a comment and give me a shout below. don't think I can use... no I can't. So I'll go for the Aria Blessed, however you want to say it. Aria Ballast. I'm only going to buy one. I don't know if it'll fit. Two. Ooh, it did fit. Yeah, I think I'll fit two of those now then. There is um, a program that you can download to help you with fitting so you don't have to buy things, it's called EFT. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Right, it fits. Woohoo. Now since this is shield tanked, I'm gonna put a three shield extender rigs in the rig slots. They're under ship modifications and then rigs and then the particular rig. It's a shield rig and cruisers take medium. There are Tech 1 and Tech 2. I never use Tech 2 because they are ridiculously expensive. So I'm going to find the extenders. And I only need three. Um, rigs are usually the most expensive ship thing after the ship itself, unless you're fitting faction. Then it will come up with a warning because you cannot unfit rigs. So you need to be sure that they are what you want before you put them on like so and they do come with penalties but I have heard tell that the penalties are being removed now I still have one spare low power slot I think I'll just put a power diagnostic system in there purely for shits and gills and it boosts my shield some so when I find it it should be under engineering and then power diagnostics and power diagnostic system 2 And again, right click fit. There we go. It's probably unnecessary, but I have absolutely no idea what to put in there. Again, if anybody feels that they should tell me what I should be putting in that slot, please again comment in below. Now, the rupture has a 30 meter squared drone bay. So I'm going to put in Hobgoblin 2s, 5 of those. If your ship does have a drone bay, it's always a good idea to put drones in, even if you're not, even if you don't like them, and if you don't have any skills in them. But if you can use them, it's always a good idea to put them in, because they add a little bit of DPS to your final output. I'm going to buy 5. This is a little bit different, as you can't right click fit. But if you hold down the shift key and click drone bay, it'll bring it up in a new tab. If I go back to my item hanger, you can highlight them, click and drag, and drop them into your drone bay. That's pretty much filled me up. Um, that will do for drones. Ammo now. Tech 2 guns can fit the advanced ammo and also the Tech 1 and faction ammos. I'm not going to use faction for PvE, as there's no point. But I will use Tech 2 ammo. Uh, Quake will shorten your range but give you DP, 
a lot d more DPS, I believe. Yep, minus 75% to your range, but it does 18 and 10 explosive and kinetic, respectively. And Tremor will dramatically increase your range, 80%, but only does 10 and 6 kinetic and explosive, respective. So I'm going to buy the Quake, because I'm not too concerned about range. It's always good to buy. I usually buy around about 4,000 to 5,000. Costs a bit for uh, Tech 2 ammo. Again, just open up ship's cargo bay. There is a simpler way to do it, which I'll do. That's your ship's cargo bay there. If you just drag and drop it in. Rid of unnecessary windows. Done with the fitting there. Now, for T1 guns, there are a lot of ammos. As you can see, they all come with their different damage types and your different ranges and overall damage. Usually I'll go with EMP for PvP. And depending, since I'm in a mar, I'm going to assume that EMP is the best damage type to deal. 4,000 again. And EMP, if I show that, it does 18 EMP damage for explosive to kinetic. Halves my range. And if I pick another one at random, like phase plasma. That halves my range as well, but does 4 kinetic and 20 thermal damage. So generally the one with the highest um, elemental, I'm going to suppose, damage is the one to fire at the specific NPC, which I'll give a link to. So now I've bought my ammo. I'm going to put it into my cargo hold. when it wants to work. Now I'm going to undock, as I have all my ship fittings, and ammo. And... Hopefully it'll be the next system over. It's not. So, if you right-click, set destinations, two jumps away. Oh, nearly. Nearly forgot to buy... I'll stop my warp. Dock back up. Nearly forgot to buy um, missile, light missile ammunition. So when it docks me up again, go to the market, go to missiles and light missiles for these. Standard, and I'm going to go for Molnir, however you pronounce it. And hallelujah. And again, I'm just going to buy like 4,000 of them. I think I just bought 400. There we go. Get rid of the market. Go to my item hanger. Where did my missiles go? Probably bought them in another station in the system. 
So if I highlight station this time, and buy 4,000. Tech 1 missiles are rather cheap, so doesn't really matter. Put them into my ship's cargo bag. There we go. Get rid of that. And undock again. So after it undocks me, I'll start warping to the uh, to the mission system. I'll probably cut the video because it's boring just warp seeing someone warp across systems. So I'll when I get to the uh, destination system, I'll start the video again. Welcome back. While I'm in warp to. Uh, land at the mission system. I'm going to talk about grouping. To group your weapons just click on that one there and it will group them into uh, type groups and ungroup them when you try to <laughs> click and drag. Uh, right click them, I'm going to load my Quake and then load my Molnir, however you want to say it. Once they're loaded it will tell me the DPS and ranges if I hover over them, it fall off range within 27, so that's the most distance that I can get hit on something. And optimal range is 7500, and the DPS is 264, which is quite low. Now, uh, the max flight range for missiles is the range they'll always hit. So the max flight range is 36 and the damage is 19.2, which is horrible. So I'm going to warp to the mission location. And I'm going to read the details on it. I didn't do that earlier. So we need to go somewhere, warp in, pick up the relic. And they're going to be Blood Raider pirates, because that's I know the icon. Hallelujah. EMP. Decent damage to deal. So I'll warp in, shoot them, pick up the re the relic, and warp back. So always remember to activate your hardeners. Like so. And I seem to be greeted by a rather far away acceleration gate with nothing to shoot. Bear with me while I approach it, because I probably spawn on my way in there. Um, any suggestions for what I should do for the next video, give me a shout. I know I've been promising the PvP video, and I'm going to hunt around in low, probably null in wormhole space, to see if I can get a good fight to record. If I can, I really can't put a video out on PvP, but if anybody does have any suggestions for what I should do next for the next video, please leave a comment. And as promised they spawned, so I'm just going to lock them up and start ripping them a new one. I'm going to keep my drones in for the moment, just see how well my cannons do. One shot, one kill. Turreted damage is instant, but missile damage requires the missiles to reach their target before the damage will happen. So be careful of missile wastage if you're short on money. So I'm now just going to lock them up still, destroy them. I like to group my drones, so if you just click them, move drone, and you won't have groups, but it will say new group. So I'm just going to move them into my light group and launch them. Now drone DPS is instant once they reach their target. So I'm just going to set them on that poor little frigate there. While I resume decimating them with my uh, artillery cannons. So when they're all dead, which shouldn't take too long. 
if I keep going on the way with this. Right, they're pretty much dead now. So yep, that is my my uh, fitting video. I may do another one on uh, PvP fitting. I do not know. But yep, this is a good place to end the video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Give me a like and subscribe if you want more.